Taoiseach, the programme for government commits to ensuring that we develop an education system uh, that um, is one that serves everybody, whatever religion they are or whether they have no religion uh, whatsoever, and commits to advancing uh, the divestment programme, where, as we know, of course, currently, uh, 90% of schools are in the hands of the Catholic uh, Church. Um, uh, schools run with their ethos. Uh, hardly, uh, you know, hardly appropriate for a country that is increasingly more diverse uh, in terms of religion uh, and indeed people with uh, no religion or for that matter a great advertisement to people up the north if we are serious about having a united uh, Ireland uh, which is breaking from the religious sectarianism of the past. The latest evidence that the divestment programme is not going very well was in, we saw in Rohini where there was uh, discussions for reconfiguration of three Catholic schools and it has run into serious uh, trouble and points, and it's not the first example of this, points to the fact that the whole process in terms of consultation is not, is not working. Uh, now I'm not, I can, I can only read the reports, but it's not the first time that I've heard this sort of thing, that uh, we don't have anybody really selling the um, benefits uh, of divestment. There's also concern among communities, uh, school communities, staff and so on, that reconfiguration will actually uh, the school communities will lose out in terms of facilities, uh, in terms of what's available for children, uh, and uh, so on, and that indeed because the whole process is being designed between the church and the state, that there are certain people who don't really want to change the status quo uh, and are scaremongering about what the consequences of divestment uh, might be, new patronage, reconfiguration, uh, and so on. So what it suggests uh, Rahini and other examples is we have to look at the whole process of consultation about this again and we need to actually sell the benefits uh, of divestment, uh, of having a more secular education system and ensure that it's seen as a win for school communities in terms of the facilities uh, that will be available and not as a possible threat uh, to those school communities in terms of facilities, uh, school buildings, sports facilities or whatever it might be. Um, some deputies raised the issue of, uh, of reconfiguration, um, and I think the most important view, and I know people have different views on that, uh, is that we try to respect the wishes of parents, uh, and indeed the parents of uh, future pupils of particular schools, uh, and also take into account the views of staff. Um, I'm somebody who um, supports greater choice around uh, education and education ethos. So I appreciate that's easier to do in an urban area uh, than in a, a rural area. But I know in my own constituency, for example, uh, we've educated together national schools and secondary schools. We have Catholic Archdiocese schools. We have a Church of Ireland school. We have Gael Scullina. We have a number of community national schools. Uh, and after a survey of parents um, uh, in Tyrrellstown, a decision was made to establish a, a new Lakela secondary school. And similarly, in the Castanock area, um, a new secondary school, which will be formally opened soon uh, under the um, patronage of the, uh, of, of the Edmund Rice uh, Trust. Uh, so I think it is important to take into account what parents actually want, uh, what their wishes are, and I don't agree with, with, with forced, with forced secular, secularisation uh, of our education system. Um, if a school is working well and parents are happy with how it's working, then I think that view should be, um, uh, should, should be, uh, should be, should be respected. Um, in terms of more information, the Department of Education uh, sets out that there are now uh, 166 multi-denominational or interdenominational primary schools. Uh, that's an increase of seven uh, on last year. And it is part of a longer term trend with the number of multi-denominational primary schools rising from 85 to 165. That's an increase of nearly 50% in the past 10 years. At post-primary level, uh, multi-denominational schools have increased from 16, or rather by 16, from 343 in 2011 to 359 now. And during the period from 2011, when the current arrangements on the establishment of new schools were introduced, uh, 53 new primary schools and 50 new post-primary schools have been established. Uh, of these, 52 of the 53 um, are multi-dominational, 
and one is interdenominational. And when it comes to the, to the post-primary schools, uh, there are 50 new ones, of which 44 are multi-denominational, five Thank Catholic you. and one Church of Ireland. Thank you, Thesis. We now move to...